Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to VFX Kitchen. So continuing to the previous video, uh, today we are going to work on how we can install modules for uh, Blender. So I will just jump in again to our structure from last time. So I have the Blender installed here. I have 2.82 and um, inside 2.82 you have folder called uh, Python and then you have the pen which is basically the .exe file for Python. So usually if you're going to install a uh, Python modules you are installing it using pep. So you do like pep install whatever you want. Um, in my structure for the pipeline I would love to separate uh, the modules that you're installing from um, Blender itself. So basically it's kind of agnostic. You keep the folder somewhere else and uh, Blender just looking into this folder. Um, but first we need to get get, get pep. I uh, will tell you now how we can get pep. Uh, basically there's a file called get pep.py. That's a very famous file. You can just get it, get it from anywhere. So that's basically the pep file. We can do save as and then we keep it maybe on the desktop. VFX Kitchen here inside Blender 2.82 Python Ben and that's it. All right, and what you need to do is opening the command line. We don't need any Blender for this, but we need to use its Python. And then you write down Python .exe and then get pep, and that's all what you need to do. So it will automatically uh, download the version of pep for the Python version that we have for Blender. The most important part that I want to separate between uh, installing modules for locally on my own Blender or maybe I want to share the pipeline somewhere on the network and let all the artists or the user over the network still access the same modules. Um, so next step we should go back um, here. So, no sorry, it's like Python, scripts, and that's our pep. So if I want to install any module, I will just right click here and write like pep. I prefer to go to 3.7 and then say install, for example, OpenCV Python. But uh, before I go here, I have another track to show for creating. Let me find it out first. Inside here. Uh, yeah. So my track here is also what I like to do is, again, moving the directory for the module somewhere else. So inside my pipeline folder, let's open it here. I have my own modules. I'm afraid that this will conflict with Blender, honestly. So I will just maybe call it Python modules. Okay. And in your um, command line, you can just set the target equals the path. I don't like to do any spaces here. And that's it. So now, next time you install a, install a Python module using pep, it will automatically be installed here. But what you need to do on each tool you're creating that you have to specify where is the Python modules to import. In that case, we can specify an environment variable. And now, let me try out to do pep install uh, PySide2. So now it's going to download PySide and We'll install it here. Okay, so we're back again. As you can see here, after pip install is done with installing um, PySide 2, there is some sub um, modules that also required by PySide, and um, that's the output folder. So that's our Python modules folder. Um, yeah, that was it for today. I hope you liked it, and uh, see you next time. Now, here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna shoot you right down. Boom, boom.